Hello everybody, my name is Tommy. I am a mask and puppet maker. In this video, we will be learning how to make Chatot. Movable wings, and of course, he can talk, as well as a moving head. A little sticky because this is brand new, but it will loosen up the more you use it. And don't forget to check out on how to make the Guildmaster Wiggly Tough. All right, enjoy the video. This video is brought to you by Puppet Master Academy. Puppet making just got better. See you there. All right, so in this video, we will be making Chatot. This is Wiggly Tough Buddy. I'm not gonna make it too big. Just a little bit bigger than the budgie puppet. I'll be using two of these. One large, one small. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make the head. We're going to take some newspaper. And we're going to wrap it around the ball. Okay, the next part is we're going to be making this. It should look like a musical note, but anyway, this is going to draw out a little bit of a flag. And we're going to cut that out. Well, now let's make the beak. So crumple some newspaper. And crumble some newspaper into a small ball. Yeah, that'll work. Now, let's make this part, the frill. So I'm just gonna use something perfectly round. Now let's make the body. We're going to crumple newspaper into the shape of a small egg. Okay, so now let's give this burb some wings. We're going to draw two wings. Let's cut that out. Perfect. So now we have two wings. So they should look like curved teardrops. So let's make this part, the tail. You could use a dowel or a pencil instead if you want. You just crumble this up and then tape it up. Or you can use a rod or a dowel instead. But I want mine to be light. Budgies are super playful right now. A little long, but that's okay. And for the ball, Same thing with the head. Crumble it, crumble it inside newspaper and then put paper mache over it. Now let's make the feet. So we will be making him some parrot feet. So on a sheet of cardboard, this is what we're going to cut out. Ta-da! 
two of these. That's how they, they have two toes in the front and two toes in the back. I'm going to cut out another one. You have everything here. So you should have two feet, the body, there's the shape. So it should look like a potato, but I kind of want to leave this kind of like a little boat tip on the end for the tail attachment. And you should have a tail. Uh, the beak, a small and large newspaper crumpled ball and two wings as well as a circle. Oh, don't forget this part. This is everything that you need here. Let's do the paper mache. <clears throat> Mix one part glue, one part water. I'm using white glue. And I'm using uh, toilet paper, but you don't, you don't want tissue or toilet paper. Toilet paper I find works great. And then, put on your first layer of glue with your paintbrush. So now I'm going to cut the ball open and I'm going to remove the styrofoam ball and glue it back together again. The newspaper in between will make this possible. Another reminder, be careful when using knives, just cut away from yourself please. Notice that I made a little notch where I cut. This is so that I can easily find the exact place where I cut so it has a perfect fit when you're gluing it back together. Okay, so now I'm going to drill a hole in the middle of the small ball so I can slide it through the tail. Now we're going to slide it right through the tail now that the ball is completely hollow. This will make it possible and it should have a nice snug fit. So let's add this part, the yellow part. We're going to use cardboard for that. So we're just going to cut out a small sheet of cardboard. And just glue that on there like this. This is what it should look like. So there's two different ways we can make the frill. One, I can use this circle and the Dremel.
but I'm going to do it the nice way. I'm going to trace over this circle and then I'm going to cut out a boat shaped uh, piece of cardboard and I'm just going to trace it over and over and over kind of like a spiral pattern and I'm going to cut it out. This will give you a really nice one and I'm going to use the nice one for this puppet. Okay, so now let's uh, re let's assemble Chatot. We're gonna take the the feet and we're gonna glue it right on, right on to the middle, just on the middle of the edge. Just wear gloves. Just wear gloves when you're using hot glue, please. Okay, now we're going to poke some holes on here so we can actually attach these. Careful when you're doing this with scissors. So I'm using wooden dowels for this, just in case you were wondering. All right, so now let's uh, attach the tail. So I actually just need to make a little cut. Just glue that at the bottom there. Oh, now we're going to take this piece, we need to cut out the middle so if we can actually get the spindle through. Alright, take that out. I'm going to glue this on top of here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. We need to glue that on top. Alright, so we're going to take the head. And we're going to glue this on top. Like this. Alright, so we're going to cut out two cardboard ovals for the eyeballs. Like this. And we'll just glue them. in this position. And then for the beak, we need to actually carve it down so it looks kind of like a hook. Here, like that. Just glue that on. Okay, so now let's just paper mache everything.
gonna take uh, gonna make the spindle. I'm gonna cut toilet paper spool. Just ro roll it like that. Okay, so we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna glue this in. This will be the spindle support. So remember to cut away from yourself, please. You know what I suggest? You wanna really be a bird expert? Learn their bird songs. You'll hear more birds than you will see them. Now you just slide it in like this. That's actually quite perfect. I don't even think I need to glue that on. That's just a nice, uh, I'll just do it anyway. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the spindle onto the bottom of Chatot's head. You just let that dry. Okay, so we got a lot of colors to put on Chatot. Let's get started. All right, so let's start painting Chatot. So for the bottom jaw, I just, this made out in toilet paper, it's really small. This is actually the lower bill. This, and of course parrots, they actually have a tongue. So I included that as well. But this is what you will need for the lower jaw, or the lower bill. A uh, proper term is lower mandible. So we're going to attach the wings, I'm going to be using hinges because they will just look better. Then we're just going to attach the, just put the screws up onto here, just underneath the collar. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the mixing stick. I'm just gonna trim it down. Just split. Now I think I'm just gonna sand that, smooth it down, but this will work. All 
All right, so I painted the mixing stick. It got painted black. We're gonna cut an opening here and at the back. I wanna make it wide enough to get the paint mixing stick in it. Make sure that the center as I can. I'm actually going to draw a little bit of a line. Okay, we're gonna cut that out. Bella! No, please don't. Bella! <laughs> Hey, fur! No, that's not meant to be chewed on. Uh, Bella, here's the chew toy. Chew on this, okay? Chew on that. Chew on this. Come on. Chew on it. I want you to chew on this. This is your chew toy. See, you can chew on that all you want. And it's colorful, too. Pretty colors. All right, and that's just like that. We now have Chatot. Movable wings, beautiful wings. Yeah, it looks just like the real thing. It is pretty much the real thing. It might be sticky because it's brand new. Like a lot of new things, it can be a little sticky and a little stiff, but the more you use it, the better it'll get. So just use it for a little while. And of course, he can talk. Perfect. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye. I, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the show. show. Now, now go, go make yourself a puppet friend. friend.